then it's easier to leave that reference out. Mm -hmm. it's, it's oh, like, yes. It's like the uh, water problem in in Seeker itself. Like, we we worked very hard to make it work, and in the end it was just... Why not? Why just not leave it out? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's an excellent comparison, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you st you tell a better story by not, you know, you've still got to tell the story, but don't try and fucking cram shitloads of details in there. And, Pay attention, you know. this is very important detail. There may, yeah. there will be a test later. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, th yeah, I can understand. First draft, put it all in there. Mm -hmm. Second draft, mm -hmm. sort of restrict a little bit, and then. Ah, uh, okay. Well, it's just, it's sort of like a twofold process. You've got to recognise when that stuff isn't working anymore. Mm -hmm. You've got to recognise when it's not working and when it's worth cutting it. Mm -hmm. And I think this is this also is very much a, another one of those author skills that Tali was talking about. Like, you've got to know when. <laughs> that mm -hmm. is that mm -hmm. is the key. You've got to know when. And mm -hmm. I think cutting the water thing has made this story. It's focused it. That's the that's the other thing. You mm -hmm. take the guard, you take the noise out, mm -hmm. and it focuses the other stuff into a better sound. You know, so that's my metaphor for the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you cut out the uh, the redundant channels, so that the one that you really need to pay attention to gets gets more screen time. Oh, see, this is why I don't do <laughs> metaphors and you do. <laughs> <laughs>